Welcome back to my channel and FB page, uh, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will solve another uh, algebraic substitution. So if the integrand contains the expression x to the m times a plus b times x to the n raised to p over q, where m, n, p, and q are integers and n and q are greater than 0 and m plus 1 over n plus p over q equals integer, then we use the substitution x to the n times z to the q equals a plus b x to the n. Okay, so example. Okay, so try to solve this al algebraic by algebraic substitution. So integral of dx over x squared times 1 plus x to the fourth raised to 3 fourths. Okay, let's start. Okay, so first, uh, first step, uh, we need to uh, express this in, uh, we put this in the numerator. So since uh, our expression is in the denominator, dx over x squared times 1 plus x to the fourth raised to 3 fourths. So we put that in the numerator by applying the negative exponent rule. So the, the exponent will become uh, negative. So we have integral of x to the negative 2 times 1 plus x to the 4 raised to negative 3 over 4. And then apply our apply the condition. So m plus 1 over n plus p over q must be an integer. So negative 2, this is, this is the m, x to the 4th. So 4 is the n and then 3 is p, 4 is our q. Okay, so substitute the values of m, n, p, and q to this formula so that the answer must be integer uh, before we use the substitution uh, x to the n we use the substitution x to the n z to the q equals a plus b x to the n okay so let's substitute the value so we have negative 2 plus 1 so this is the m negative 2 plus 1 over n is 4 minus p q so this is the p over q so negative three fourths so the answer to that is negative one negative two plus one so that is equal to negative one fourth minus three fourths so the answer is negative four over four and that is equal to negative one since the answer is integer so therefore we can use this substitution okay so we use the substitu substitution x to the n so we have x to the fourth x to the fourth and then z to the q the value of q is also four so the substitution is x to the fourth, z to the fourth equals this term 1 plus x to the fourth. Okay, so next step is solve for solve for x. Or uh, okay, so solve for x so that we can express uh this uh integral in terms of z. Okay, so solve for x, so we put x to the fourth to the to the other side, so that will become negative x to the fourth, z to the fourth minus x to the fourth equals 1. And then we factor out the common x to the fourth. So therefore, we have x to the fourth times z to the fourth minus 1 equals 1. So we can divide both sides of the equation by z to the fourth minus 1 or we can multiply by z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 1. So that uh, x to the fourth is equal to z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 1. So this is the same uh, to 1 over z to the fourth minus 1. Okay, so that's the same. Okay, next is solve for x. Solve for x, so just uh, multiply or raise both sides of the equation by one fourth. Okay, so so that we can cancel the exponent. So four times one fourth. Yeah, so that is equal to that will be x. So raise both sides to one fourth. So therefore, we have x is equal to z to the fourth minus one raised to negative one fourth. And then next is get the differential of this. So it's in the form, um, we just use the power rule. So the exponent, put the exponent here in front and then subtract 1, 1 fourth minus 1. And then get the derivative of z to the fourth minus 1. So therefore, the, uh, dx is equal to negative uh, 1 fourth z to the fourth minus 1. Negative 1 fourth minus 1, that is negative 5 over 4. And the, the derivative or differential of z to the fourth minus 1 is 4z cubed times dz. Okay, and then we simplify, we can cancel out 4 and 1 fourth. And then we put z cubed in front, so therefore the value of dx is 
negative z cubed times z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 5 over 4 dz. Okay, so now uh, we express the integral in terms of z. Okay, so our numerator will be this term. So that is the dx. So the numerator will be this term, negative z cubed times z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 5 over 4 dz. And then we substitute x squared. So the value of x squared will be, so this is the value of x. So this is the value of x. The value of x is z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 1 fourth. We have a square, so therefore we just multiply the exponent by 2. So therefore that will be uh, the exponent will become negative 2 over 4. And then 1 plus x to the fourth, Okay, so we use the substitution for, uh, we have value for x to the fourth. So this is the value of x to the fourth. This term, so this is the value of x to, x to the fourth. We can uh, substitute this value to x to the fourth. Okay, so to this x to the fourth. Okay, so therefore we now have integral of negative z cubed times z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 5 over 4 dz over z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 2 over 4. So this uh, this term for the value of x. x. Okay, z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 2 over 4. And then we have 1 plus, so this is the value z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 1. So that's the value of x to the fourth. And then raised to, raised to 3 fourths. And then we simplify this. So we just express this in terms of a positive exponent. So that is equal to 1 over z to the fourth minus 1. 1 over z to the fourth minus 1. And then simplify. We uh, In adding a rational, in adding fraction, so we can put 1 here and then apply the butterfly, the butterfly technique. So simplify this. So therefore, we have z to the fourth times negative 1 times 1. So that is z to the fourth minus 1. And then we have 1 times 1, so that's positive 1, and the denominator is z to the 4th minus 1. So simplify the numerator, z to the 4th minus 1 plus 1, so we can cancel this. That is equal to 0. Okay? And then next is we distribute the we distribute the numerator, the, the exponent. Okay? So distribute the exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So z to the 4th raised to 3 over 4, so we can cancel the the 4 and the 4 in the denominator. So the numerator will become uh, just z cubed. And then for this term, z to the fourth minus 1, that will be raised to negative 3 fourth. But 3 fourths, but uh, let's put that in the numerator. So we have z to the fourth minus 1 raised to negative 3 over 4. Okay, so we now we have this. And then simplify this so we can cancel uh, we have negative z cube in the numerator and then z cube in the denominator. So we cancel the z cube. And then look at the expression. So we all have z to the fourth minus 1. So we can simplify that, z to the fourth minus 1. So we add the numerator of the, we add the exponents of the denominator. We have negative 1 half and negative 3 fourths. So when we add that, we have negative 1 half can be written as negative 2 fourths. That's the same to negative 2 fourths minus 3 fourths. So that is equal to the exponent of the denominator will be negative 5 over 4. And then the numerator, the exponent of the numerator, z to the fourth minus 1 is also negative 5 over 4. So in short, we can cancel all these terms and then the remaining term will only be dz, negative dz. Okay. And then we have direct formula for this. So just cancel the integral sign and the differential. So therefore, the, the answer is negative z plus c. So we just solve the value of z from the from this substitution, uh, x to the fourth, z to the fourth equals 1 plus x to the fourth. So solve, solving for z, so just divide both sides by x to the fourth. So we have uh, z to the fourth is equal to 1 plus x to the fourth over x to the fourth. And then just uh, to solve for z raised to 1 fourth. Okay, raise both sides to one fourth. So therefore, the final answer for the value of z is equal to one plus x to the fourth raised to one fourth over x plus c. Because if we distribute one fourth to the numerator, so that will be one plus x to the fourth raised to one fourth, and in the denominator, distribute or uh, multiply the exponent to one fourth 
x to the fourth times one fourth. So we can just simply cancel the exponent. So the answer will be x. So this will be the final answer. One plus x to the fourth raised to one fourth all over x plus c. Okay, so for our next video, uh, we will solve this using another algebraic substitution, the reciprocal substitution. So we will verify if we will get the same answer if we use another method, the reciprocal substitution. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something uh, from this video. See you on, on my next uh, video tutorial on uh, integral calculus. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye and God bless.